brought South by Southwest and catching up with a filmmaker and a music lover, Emmett Malloy. Hi, Emmett. Hello. Good, Good to, to see you. Yeah, nice to be here. Emmett, you just directed the uh, Big Easy Express, the train tour with Mumford & Sons, Edward Sharp, and Old Crow Medicine Show that started in California and landed in New Orleans, as the title of the film would suggest. The Big Easy Express, a great new music documentary. You directed it. You yeah. were on the train. I mean, what an awesome idea to capture that, because it was such a rare thing that these three bands would get on a vintage train, and you stepped in and said, we got to shoot this. Yeah, I mean, I, I even got it a step further where they were going to shoot it, and it was more them looking for, you know, the right guy to come on, a guy or girl, girl to direct it. And um, I did a film on the White Stripes that, again, was a, a lot about the journey. As much as it was about the music, it was a lot about the you know, traveling through every province of Canada and, and the film became a, as much about where they were going as that. So that film really led well into this and, and I think all the bands, um, you know, at least were fans of that film and so I got the lucky opportunity to bring my crew, same crew, along on this journey and um, just kind of sit back and document what, what went down. and. A lot. It was just an amazing week, and and that's why this film has the vibe it does. Cause it uh, we went to all the right spots. The trains were beautiful and art directed, and and the bands just got along and never stopped playing music. And and so I was the lucky one who had to sit back and pick it all off. But it was tiring, exhausting. Shooting on a train is not something I'd <laughs> race back to. But um, you know, we we got our sea legs uh, on and 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 got what we needed and and spent a, a large amount of time editing and creating a bit of a you know poetic journey through mm -hmm. it and and recapping it. So um, I'm just excited to watch it with people. We we have yet to really screen this film and you know to be here in Austin at a festival that's as much about you know about a film festival that's as much about music as anything else. It's the perfect spot for us to be kicking it off. And what sort of response have you uh, heard so far from people? You know, very little. That's been the exciting part. I mean, the bands all dug it, so, you know, that was my job, make them all happy about um, the way I interpreted the journey. But the coolest feedback that I've gotten is... Um, that people just want to quit their jobs and, and go be a hippie and frolic around in the fields like Alex <laughs> and uh, from Edward Sharp. And, and I, I think that's so cool that out of a music documentary, people um, are getting that it's more of a, a lifestyle film. That's all I wanted this film to be is like capture what happened because you were there, you saw it. Like that was a rare journey like that was something you don't get to see too often and you certainly don't see three bands sharing the stage right. the way they did and right. that was something that's very unique and doesn't happen often I work with a lot of bands and oftentimes the four or five band members can't even really get, get, right. get it together right, right. and then to have three massive bands all just like whatever <laughs> cool you go first we'll go second I, I couldn't believe it and you know really my crew is the same way we're very good people we love you know we're 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 nice people and they were all nice yeah great bands oh and the so vibe we fit. yeah the, the vibe on the train was awesome I actually got on in Austin and then you know rode through the bayou and stuff and the the beauty that you captured beyond the music and beyond the concert footage and beyond what happened on the train. Mm -hmm. But the story that this film tells about America mm -hmm. and the landscape is really gorgeous. Some of the long, wide, yeah. high shots that you guys got. I thought was a really beautiful um, surprise about the film that you didn't necessarily know and there was just some gorgeous. And it, it's a real testament to like, you know, train is not the most efficient way to travel. That's for sure. You know, we know that. We are yeah. on that train. There are many faster ways to get from point A to point B. No doubt. But when you're on that train, or for me, when I was on the train, and the film really tells that story of like, it's a crazy big old country. And the train tracks that have been laid down really tell a wonderful mm -hmm. story that is not often seen. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, certainly not all of us treat ourselves to that privilege because, it, again, it's not yeah. a practical <laughs> way. I'm, I usually need to be places. I can't take five days to get there. But there was nothing better than waking up early in the morning, lifting your shades and just going, you know, it was like a roulette wheel. Where, what, what, 
you know, what view am I going to have today? And, uh, you know, on the first descent down from San Francisco to L.A., I noticed that, and that's what became a big priority for me and, and my crew is to go out and make sure we captured that because I didn't need bands, I didn't need any moving parts. That was stuff that I knew I could get. And that's what my background is. I, I've made surf movies about traveling all over the world and those movies were all about the journey to find these waves or whatever mm -hmm. it was they were looking for. And so I, I got to apply a lot of my strengths to this film, which was great, because it does get a little confined when you're shooting a band at Madison Square Garden. There's only so many tricks you can right. pull out. Right. And that's why this film resonates more as a, a film. You know, yeah. I mean, people, that's the other been, uh, nice compliment has been people are viewing this as a real film with a message and, and something to say. And, that's hard to achieve when you, when you're just filming music and mm. musicians because you see there's not a lot of talking. Right, right. But there's well, and still these guys something. too. They let the music do the talking. Yeah. Emma, I had one question for you, yeah. which was I wondered like how the classic music docs influence you. Oh, I mean, hugely. I think for many of us, it's like you know, The Last Waltz or mm -hmm. Festival Express. You know, those old classic movies. And is there any connection yeah, or huge. influence there for you? I mean, certainly this movie, the Festival Express thing, needs right. to be embraced. Right. I mean, the the hard part about that movie is it was such a good idea, but it wasn't documented well. So when you go back and revisit that film, it's mainly interviews from now recapping. So we got the privilege to go out and make and it, do it. Yeah. and put all the stuff that that film. You know, when you watch it, oh, I wish there was more. Of, you know, Danko jamming with Janis Joplin. You wish there was more of those, right. and we got to make a whole film of that. And and the other thing is, you know, just saying, I embrace all those films. And through the years, there's only a handful that keep getting referenced. And and all I want to do is get one in that handful, you know, because it's hard. If it was easy, there'd be a lot more, and people would not be citing "Don't Look Back" and "The Last Waltz" as like. Right, the ones right, right, there'd right. be new ones certainly the Wilco one got there yeah and you yep. know like maybe and your first and the and your first surf uh, uh, movie I yeah. mean that definitely is one that people continue to reference and I go agree. back to and you just want that kind of classic spirit and I think these bands have it and I think going on this journey mm. embodied it and I think those films are I mean we shot this on old film cameras so that alone was like oh, us cool. embracing like hey if you guys are so into this vintage I need to be I'm going into vintage. it well right, you know right. as well so I can't be walking around with all these this Digital new stuff, gear right, right, if right. you guys are flipping it that way so let me let yeah. me embrace it as well and be part of this in the same way it's an awesome film the Big Easy Express director Emmett Malloy um, yeah uh, I loved it yeah. And it was wonderful to be a part of. It was really nice having yep. you. I mean, we were all pretty lucky to, to get on that uh, hippie, you know, hippie Get on that ride. Yeah, and uh, this, is a, this is a music doc for the times. So yeah. This one is going to stand. You. I appreciate it. I feel the same way, I hope. We're at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Emmett Malloy and Rita Houston. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Rita.